my brother Jamie Hep sent me a message saying, Pat, can you send me a message? I'm about to talk to a thousand people and I don't know if he's gonna get a chance to play this in front of everybody or in a smaller group setting. But I gotta tell you guys, you know, one, um, there are a few people that when they call me that they're not directly that I do business with, but if they need something from me or if I, they wanna get on a call, Jamie's on that list. I have so much respect for Jamie. If he and I met 19 years ago, um, and uh, we had a conversation once at a macaroni grill and then from there he used to take me to this place called bamboo something I don't know what it was called. It was off of Venice and I think Overland right on the corner Because I think tag used to be a couple blocks away from that you'd have to go up and next to the freeway and uh, Look what's happened 19 years later one uh, one day. I think I spent my birthday at uh, Jamie's house And we had coconut together if you know Jamie he kind of likes the coconut stuff from Canada, but uh Hey, to all of you guys that are doing this, man, he was telling me some of you guys are value tenors. You follow the content. I, I love to hear that. I love uh, the fans are getting bigger and bigger around the world. And the one thing you need to know about is, you know, patriotism is multidimensional. Let me explain to you what I mean by multidimensional. I think a lot of times, obviously, those that serve the military, I got a lot of respect for them. But uh, salespeople have an element of patriotism in them because you guys got to go out there and get rejected on a daily basis. We're a unique group of people and we do it because of a dream. We do it because we want to go serve people. We do it because somebody said we couldn't do it. We do it because something in our heart wants to do something that others don't want to do because there's a challenge to it and it's a little bit difficult. And maybe because I played sports in the past before I had a tough mom or a tough dad or somehow, some way, I just don't feel like I'm like the regular person out there and that's you. And uh, in the group here, if he plays it in front of the audience, whatever Jamie chooses to do, it's his decision. It's the video he chooses. He can do whatever he wants to do with it. But if it's in front of the entire audience and there's about a thousand people there or a small group setting and there's about 50 or 100 of you there, you know, you can always tell when in a setting like that, there's a handful of people that make emotional decisions. And it's a commitment to say for the rest of my life, I'm going to do something big with my life. You're hearing it from a regular guy. I'm not, there's nothing special about this guy. If he would have known me in high school or junior high school or military or any, any of that, it's a regular guy. One day had somebody believed in me and I chose to believe in myself. I had the right reasons to go out there and win big. And then I got clear on my purpose and I started thinking big and the rest is history. And the same can happen to you as well. So anyways, uh, just want to send a message to you guys. Obviously, everybody knows how much I love Jamie. And, uh, you know, he's a one of a kind type of a leader. The world needs more people like Jamie. But some tells me if you're working with him as well, the room is probably filled with many people that aspire to one day be like Jamie and lead their own group of leaders or group of people and change people's lives. So uh, I wish I was there to be in face to face in person with you guys. But this is the second best choice we got today with technology. I got to go have dinner with my wife. Just got back from D.C. We got big things cooking. But uh, I want to send this message to everybody. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.